Hello, Colin. Why, hello there, Mark. Welcome to the Great Depression. Ah, oh, well, thank you. Thanks for having me today again. What do you have for me today? <laughs> really? Today, I've got a very special wine. Uh, so this is a wine that you've probably seen around, yeah. and we've had some wine from the same brand. Ooh, interesting. Uh, from, and... Mark? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, I've never had the opportunity to, to get it, but today a good friend of ours got it for us. What? Your dearly friend, a beloved friend. Oh, friend. Uh, so thanks to him, we will be able to share this marvelous one. I've been so eager wow. to try this one out. I've okay. been seeing it everywhere. Okay. And here it is, after all those years, months more, yeah. um, we've got a beloved second edition of the Curious Beast Wine. Ooh. Look at this beauty. Oh, I love the purple. I know. And like the little, like all the skeletons and everything. It's kind of hard to read. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it is definitely worth it. It's a gorgeous it. bottle though. I it's like nice. It. I mean, the black and dark purple don't really match very well, but. <laughs> before I, yeah, before I read the back, I want to read the, uh, the label up here. Dark as night, rich as sin, and scary good. <laughs> That's courtesy of. It's also a very difficult um, font. font. I, I know. I courtesy know. of tr Truet Bursts. A uh, cr uh, Truet Burst. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, something. Most mystical and magical winemakers. <laughs> the dark cherry and decadent chocolate mm. aromas mingle uh, with rich and robust dark fruits and vanilla. Oak spice. And wait for the finisher. Dark as night, rich as sin, and scary good. Yes, truly. I feel like every single wow. bad red wine we've had had something to do with chocolate at one point. <laughs> uh, I guess it's just an easy way of uh, getting some kind of a taste around. I don't know. Good news is that we got a cork. I, I love cork. corks. Corks are a great addition to our. So we collect all bottles. Yes. And corks. Yes. <laughs> so. It's uh, kind of like our trophy. <laughs> it, it, yes, it's a very, uh, very. I don't know if we're, we don't know if we're proud of it or just like sad when we walk upstairs and we just see just like the line of bottles. Of yes, of once, just wines that are really usually not that good. Well, once once we get rich and famous, yeah. uh, we'll be able to sell that collection for. Wait a minute, we've had that. Oh, isn't that for it Walking Dead? No, or was I it for the, the Walking Dead was the barbed wires. One of them was. The other one, I thought the other one was... The other one had a hand, maybe? Oh, yeah, I think there was a hand. Yeah, yeah there was a hand. Uh, this one is actually from the Curious Beast um, uh, collection. Oh, the tip of it is so cool. It's got a skeleton with the... Oh, it's... Oh, I didn't see it with a skeleton. Let me let me serve you first. Oh, my, thank you. My dear, my <laughs> dear, dear co-worker. Um, doesn't smell too bad from here, at least. Um, I'm trying to remember, what do we think of the, the first one we had? We didn't have that one on camera, right? We did not have that one on camera. Was it, was a, it was a really fun bottle, so we might have to present it again. Yeah. We we're going to have to do some repeats of bottles that we've had, but that we haven't filmed. Because there's some amazing True. ones that we had before we were able to uh, start this channel. Good news is that it smells like wine. It smells like smells. Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. Which... Yes, it is, of course. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's going to be pretty strong. <laughs> with, with them, like, it might smell like Cabernet Sauvignon, but I have to double check to make sure that they intended to be a Cabernet Sauvignon. <laughs> <laughs> it smells a lot like alcohol, yeah, I will it's say. a lot of alcohol. Like, yeah, this might be tough to finish. But hey, we haven't even tried it yet, so yep. here's to uh, this. Um, not as strong as it smells. As far as like alcohol. punchy, yeah, yeah. With alcohol. I do get a little bit of the chocolate actually. Mm. I don't really get the chocolate myself. There's Just, a little bit in there. The cherry starts to overtake it. It's kind of interesting how this, usually those wines smell and taste go really together. This one, this really, one is different. Like smelling. The smell is really different from this. Which surprisingly, the other one that was uh, <clears throat> similar in the fact that the smell was different than the taste. My opinion was the pepper. The pepper one, I was gonna say, yeah. Which I loved. Yes. I loved. That was actually one. Like, it wasn't like the best wine. It was just so, so interesting. Yeah. It was so fun. And it was drinkable. This is a. This, I however, is, after a while, like, after a third sip, I'm. I don't know, I'm getting a lot of the alcohol. It's a very short taste. Um, the. Um, 
the initial the initial taste fades out very quickly and just leaves kind of like a strong alcoholic finish. It's not very pleasant or interesting. Yeah, I'd probably give it I'd give it a solid four. Under average for you? It's under average for me. It's like, not something I would really. I don't know. No, knowing Nothing that again, special. the average is not the average. Like a of good wine. wine, we're not talking of the average. No, but an average, just, like mediocre wine from our scale. Yeah, as far as like outrageousness. I mean, the bottle's great. Uh, bottle's the wine great. isn't anything unique. I'm gonna give it. Uh, oh God, five. <laughs> I was it's really pretty painful to... for you to get out. It is because I, I, a six felt like it, it's above something, but it, it's not very rude to me. Yeah. Now, if the bottle like glowed in the dark, that'd be like a ten. Oh, you're right. The more, the more yeah, there's a lot it, of this is very alcoholic. It's strong. Yeah, it is alcoholic. It's very strong. Thing. Well, that was interesting. Um, but yeah. you know what, Colin? I look forward to seeing what you're gonna bring next time. On the Grim Depression. I bet you are. Oh, That's yes, it's truly. It's going to be pretty good if I do say so. You say that all the time. Yeah, yeah. I do. It's scripted. Yeah.